Don't work. <laughs> uh, this silly thing. Boy, this one gives me fits. <laughs> well, I tried to do a few songs here on the last one. An introductory to the Second Chronicles chapter 29. Oh, goodness, we got a good King Hezekiah coming up. Oh, glory, we got ourselves a good king that's going to try to straighten this. <laughs> He's going to straighten the, 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 the house out <laughs> and get them turned around in the ways they should have been doing in the first place. Yep, we, and then we all of our nations are in trouble, and that's exactly what we all need to do. And we're praying this new president, and hey, he, I think he's pack your bags, White House, because he's coming to do some straightening out. But we know good and well, according to our scriptures, eventually they'll turn it all the way back around to every way that they tried to preserve them and turn them around. And here they go, right back into the ways they preserved from. And there they go, right back into it. All nations are guilty, kings and queens. And uh, Well, we may have some kings and queens that didn't do so bad. <laughs> <laughs> They've done their best to take care of their nation. Ooh, wait. But you ought to pay attention to these kings and queens. King David and even the kings of the north of Israel. <laughs> yep. Oh, goodness. And how it all plays a role in our own lives and in our own nations. And let me play you a song here. Let's see here. This one, uh, let me pull it up. Uh, I believe it was, uh, this is by Terry Clark. Oh, I like, I like him. He is God. By Terry Clark, and it's a song called Let's Worship, and I Am Yours. And then I may play you one, another one in here in just a second. Uh, before we get into this Chronicles, you're going to like this, I think. But stay, stay tuned. <laughs> Let's see here. Let me pull it up. Where are we at? There's the play button. Okay. Play. Lord, make me a vessel. Yes, sir. Hear this Lord. How can I do it for you? Of your word and heaven. your will. Speak your words to these lips. Your own words of life. Let them heal the broken heart. Lord, make me a servant. I'll wait on you hand and foot. Draw me close, let me know Let me touch your heart Let me be your prize creation I am yours, I am yours been born with life's precious I am new I'm brand new in you my Jesus I am yours I'm yours you hold all my life in your hands, and when I hear your spirit calling me, I'll follow. Yes, I'll follow because I. Lord, fill me with your spirit. 
baptize me in your love. Take the fire from the altar. Let it touch my lips and consume the darkness around me. I am yours. I am yours. I've been born life so precious. I am new. I'm brand new in you, my Jesus. I am yours, Lord, I'm yours. You hold all my life in your hands. And when I hear your spirit, Calling me, I'll Yes, i because I am play one here called True It All. This one's by Andre Kraft. Ooh, you remember him? Ooh, I got to see him in person when I was a, just a little old teenager. Ooh -hoo. And he'd wave his hand and the crowd would just fall over. The anointing that that man had. Let's see if we can get this played. Uh, play with media player. Andre Crouch, there you go. I've had many tears and sorrow. I've had questions for tomorrow. There have been times I didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God gave me blessed consolation. Let my trials come to only make me strong. I've been a lot of places, and I've seen millions of faces, but there were times that I felt so alone. But in my lonely hour, let those precious lonely hours. Jesus let me know that I was his own. That's the reason I say that through it all, through it all, oh, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Let me tell you that through it all, oh, through it all. So I thank God for the mountains And I thank Him for the valleys And I thank Him for the storms He's brought me through Oh, if I'd never had a problem I'd never know that God could solve them I'd never know what faith it was worth to do. That's the reason I say that through it all, 
some good stuff. My goodness, we can be playing music here all day. <laughs> but we got things to do. And I got some scriptures I want to bring you. Oh, goodness, we've been bringing you some Second Chronicles and showing you about the good kings and bad kings and, 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 and how, oh, my goodness, every time the good kings tried to get everything straightened out and doing the ways that the Lord gave Moses to teach the people and Aaron and and, and, and then there they go, there they go, right on back to where they came out of, and yet our nations are all just as guilty in the same. Oh, my goodness. And how it all plays a role in all of our lives. I'm going to bring you in here, get your Bibles out, in, in the Second Chronicles chapter 29. Oh, goodness, where we left off. <laughs> we done had read about all these other kings that was bound all that other stuff and, and calling it a God and uh, re relying on prophets that wasn't even prophets. Uh, uh, oh, that, 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 oh. Everybody swore they were prophets. But they were there given to mislead. Ooh, the Lord didn't do any lying. The Lord allowed that spirit of evil to speak unto those prophets to persuade Ahab as if they knew the word of the Lord. Ooh, ain't we got this today in all of our nations, especially all these last rulers and people they've had putting over all the, over the programs and the governments, ooh, ooh, and forcing this stuff into all these other nations. And look at all the people that they had to support them. <sighs> Turning their backs upon what was written in their own Bibles. Yeah. Huh. Well, all nations are guilty, and all rulers, they are, and we are guilty. Oh, we got ourselves a good king, King Hezekiah. After this Ahaz, yeah, yeah, he he was a bad dude, and it's got some recordings even of all these kings over here in the Book of Kings. It'll tell you some things that it didn't get to tell us over here, but yet it leads us into it over in Chronicles and Book of Kings there. It's going to give you some stuff that uh, verify what's over here in Chronicles. So either way, it verifies itself. And twos and threes, and there it is. It verifies itself either way. It always has. It always will. Oh, let's see here in chapter 29 of Second Chronicles. Oh, my goodness. It says, Hezekiah began to reign when he was five and twenty years old. That's 25. Yep, yep, okay. And he reigned nine and... 20 years, that's 29 years, in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Ahiba, Abba, 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 Abba. <laughs> I got some scrolling through there. The daughter of Zechariah, oh yeah, that is famous name, isn't it? Ain't we got some prophet, a prophet there, Zechariah? Oh, look what they done to him when he tried to tell the kings about what was going to happen. Under the nation, boy, like that. Oh, yeah, we got a Zechariah that was stoned right out there in the outer court before the royal altar. Yeah, was that our Zechariah that's got the famous book, Zechariah? Yeah, the Lord Jesus said the blood be upon you when he told him out there and there, all the way from the, from the blood of Abel, Ooh, all the way into the blood of Zechariah. Would the blood be upon Israel and, and Jerusalem and Judah? for what they done to the Lord's prophets, that he sent them rising early in the morning. 
and they would not listen. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, it's got the same thing today. Yeah, we got the same thing to lift it up and highly esteem. They ain't about to listen. Oh, no, they think they got it all down. And, well, they got all that fame. They got all that glory. They got all them people donating to them. Whew, got oh, all those degrees. Oh, hundreds of thousands of hours of study. Well, big shot, you ain't the only one. Nope, you're just the ones that get the TV and the satellites and all the money. The rest of us, yeah. Okay. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. Glory, we got ourselves a good king again. Whew, after some of these bad ones that were sitting upon the throne of David. But they didn't get to rule over all 12 tribes. Not after we lost uh, King Solomon. Nope, that is all split. Uh, and he did according to all that David his father had done. He in the first year of his reign, boy, he'd done some mighty things. And look what this fella's doing. <laughs> in the first month, opened the doors of the house. You see, the other fella that died, that king, he closed it all up and locked it down and put all these idols out there all the way through the ledge. Oh, and he closed up the royal house. Uh oh didn't get... And now his Ezekiah said, uh, get these doors open. And let's get in there and let's clean the let's clean house. Well, that's what we're counting on Trump are doing. <laughs> Pack your bags, White House. <coughs> Maybe we'll get a time, some a, a space to turn some of this around, even for all and to help even the other nations that relies on us. Mm -hmm. He in his first year's reign in the first month opened the doors of the house of the Lord and repaired them. Yeah, there's all kinds of damage done to the house. Oh man. And he brought in, he brought in the priests and the Levites and gathered them together into the into the east street, and said unto them, Hear me, ye Levites, sanctify now yourself and sanctify the house of the Lord God of your fathers, and carry forth the filthiness out of the holy place. Well, that's what we pray. Our hey, this new elect, clean house. Get that stuff and get it out of here. Pack your bags. You've had your turn. The nation has spoken. We got all these others standing up for you, but go sit down. For our fathers have transpassed and done that which was evil in the eyes of the Lord our God. Ain't our own nations? Hello. <coughs> and have forsaken him and have turned away their faces from the habitation of the Lord. And turned their backs. Oh yeah, they've taken it out of the courts. They've taken it out of the schools. They've taken it out of the library. They've taken it out of all of it. And they've been getting away with every bit of it. Over a handful of people. Who's determined they're going to have it their way. Mm -hmm. Also, they have shut up the doors of the porch. And put out the lamps. And have not burned incense nor offered burnt offerings. Well, they couldn't. Well, they couldn't do anything holy and royal. How could they? Everything was in an abomination throughout the lands. Look at our own nations now. In the holy place under the God of Israel. Wherefore the wrath of the Lord was upon Judah and Jerusalem. And he hath delivered them to trouble, to astonishment. Guess what's happening in our nations? Around the world, hello, and the hissing. Oh, look at him hiss now. As you see with your eyes. For lo, our fathers have fallen by the sword, and our sons and daughters and our wives are in captivity for this. Now, look at what's going on in all these nations, especially up there in Syria and all this other. <whistles> Scattering the Muslims, here they come. Some of them actually love the Lord. Yeah. But then if they stand up, they can get them, get them, get them, get, they'll get killed by some of the people that's taken over. Uh -huh. Fulfilling prophecy. Now it is in my heart to make a covenant with the Lord God of Israel that his fierce wrath may turn away from us. That's what we need. We need to turn it around into all of our nations. And they forced this stuff upon all the United Nations and tell them, you got to get this stuff approved over there. You just got to get these new laws approved. 
and, and accept it and, and, and do the same as we do. And people, that's what started all these wars all the way around the world. All the way around the world. My sons, be, be not now neg negligent, for the Lord hath chosen you to stand before Him, to serve Him, and that ye should minister unto Him and burn the incense. Remember what they were supposed to represent? The souls going up before the royal altar, going up to heaven. Oh, my goodness. He had all these great gatherings. Boy, he got all these people and all these people of, of a royalty and prophets that he, that he had and, and those who was actually trying to do what was right. He said, get them in here. Get them back in this house and get these others out of here. Get them out. We've had enough of your stuff. Well, that's what we're praying with all of this. We had enough. And maybe we get a chance to turn it around in the Lord's hand. And they gathered their brethren, down in 15, it says, And they gathered their brethren and sanctified them and came according to the commandment of the king by the words of the Lord to cleanse the house of the Lord. He's, they're coming in to clean, to clean it up. Get this stuff out of here. Get these idols and all this other stuff. And these, oh, you get it out of the house. But look at what our churches in our own nations alone are now putting in our churches. Well, the, all the women sat together holding hands on one side and all the men sat together holding hands on the other. Where's the children supposed to sit? And the abominations, sacrilege, and telling the people out there that God now approves. Oh, you nations. Yeah, it's a free right to worship as you please. They're all sitting, sitting down there singing when the saints go marching in. When the saints go marching in. Oh, Lord, I want to be in that number. Remember that? Well, that's what we sang when we were kids. Hey, they're in there singing it now. In their holding hands. Sacrilege has been set in the churches. And they're getting the people out there convinced that there ain't nothing wrong with it. But that's not what the Bible says. Ooh-wee. Come quickly, Lord, because they're setting this stuff in your churches. Telling us that we got to marry those people. Uh-uh. Sorry, we ain't going to do it. You go to the courthouse and go stand in the rain. We ain't going to do it. Nope, sorry. Ain't got done nothing. Hey, we don't hate you. We can't stop what to do either. Any of those others. We don't hate you. But we're going to stand up for what the Bible says is right. Whether you like it or not. And they gathered the brethren and sanctified them and, and came according to the commandment of the king by the words of the Lord to cleanse the house of the Lord. And the priest went into the inner part of the house of the Lord to cleanse it and brought out all the uncleanliness that they found. They got it out. In the temple of the Lord, into the court of the house of the Lord, and the Levites took it to carry it out abroad into the brook of Kidron. Boy, there's a lot of stories of the stuff that was smashed to powder. Like Moses told them they was going to have to do some of the stuff they had. No, they smashed it to powder, and, they, and, and then even, even later in life, back and through the times that they would smash that stuff in, in the gold into powder and throw it in the Kidron. And then they, some of it, they made them drink it. Uh -huh. You want to drink, you, you, you want to live this abomination? You can drink that water that's got full of, that's got abomination in it. Throw it into the book of Kidron. Well, there's some mighty stories in there. Now they began on the first day in the first month to sanctify the rule. They went through all this stuff, cleaning out the house, getting all that stuff out of there. Took so many days. And, and, and verse 18, it says, Then they went into Hezekiah and said, We have cleansed all of the house of the Lord. Hey, Trump, get ready, buddy. Pick them. Clean it out, buddy. You got good enough teams. Yes, sir. You're smart enough to know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have cleansed all the house of the Lord and the altar of the burnt offering with all the vessels thereof. 
and the showbread table and all the vessels thereof. They're getting it all cleaned up and put back the way it's supposed to be, the way the Lord gave them. Mm-hmm. We showed King David and his son, King Solomon. Wasn't he something? <laughs> I just love the Proverbs that man had and the wisdom he had. Yes, sirree. Moreover, all the, brass, the, the vessels which uh, King Ahaz and his reign did cast away in his transgressions have we prepared and sanctified, and behold, they are before the altar of the Lord. Glory. We got some cleansing of the house that went on. Then Hezekiah the king rose early and gathered the rulers of the city and, and, and went up to the house of the Lord. You see, he's of Judah. The king could not go in and stand before the veil because he was not of the... Uh, there was only three royal times that the king of Judah was to go in. This was provided he was reigning over all of the 12 tribes before he could... Uh, at the royal feast... Uh, the three royal feasts, the unleavened bread, the, the feast of 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 of, uh, uh, of harvest, and, and the feast of end gatherings. Uh, those were the three royal feasts through the seasons. But that was provided. It was raining over all of the twelve tribes, gathering them into the, all of those feasts and harvest. And then the king of Judah could go in and stand before the veil and offer his incense before the royal altar, which was before the veil. He couldn't do this. None of these kings were ruling over all of the 12 tribes. Not at this time. They was not. The priest, the high priest, could only do this when it came time. The king could not do such. He was only to do this when the king was reigning over all 12 tribes. Hello. And they brought seven bullocks, and they're making all these these offerings unto the Lord, the sons of Aaron, and and, and those that was of the priesthood. And so they, they they done okay. Now look at here. Here's the sprinkling. Now he's holding a royal feast out there. It says, so they killed the bullock. In verse 22, it says, so they killed the bullocks, and the priests received the blood and sprinkled it upon the altar. The, the, you see, the priests did this. To do that sprinkler, to make an atonement upon the royal altar. Likewise, when they had killed the rams, they sprinkled the blood upon the altar. They got that sacrifice altar outside, and then they got that royal altar inside. So they're doing this at the altars, okay? Likewise, when they had killed the rams, they sprinkled the blood upon the altar. They killed also the lambs, and, and they sprinkled the blood upon the altar. And they brought forth the goats for the sin offering before the king and the congregations, and they laid their hands upon them. And the priests killed them, and they made reconciliation with their blood upon the altar to make an atonement for all of Israel and for the king's command commanded that the burnt offerings and the sin offerings should be made for all of Israel. And he set the Levites in the house of the Lord. Yeah, well, look at what we got now in the house. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, with the symbols and the posters and uh, salsa, you pronounce that. And with the harps, according to the commandment of David and of Gad, the king seer, and Nathan the prophet, for so was the commandment of the Lord by his prophets. And the Levites stood with the instruments of David. Boy, we'd like to be cool to see some of those and have some of those today, wouldn't it? Man, what I'd like to like to see some of the real ones. Yeah, wouldn't that have been something? And stood with them were instruments of David and the priests with trumpets. Yep, I, I played trumpet when I was in high school. Yep, yep. You got to get, do one or the other, right? You got to play a trumpet uh, or, you, or you get the same. Which is it? <laughs> and Hezekiah commanded to offer the burnt offerings upon the altar. And when the burnt offerings began, the song of the Lord began with also with the trumpets and with the instruments ordained by David, king of Israel. So they're finally doing the things that they was commanded and doing it right. Cleansing up the place and getting things straightened up like they were supposed to be in the first place. And all the congregation worshipped, and the singers sang, and with the trumpet sounded, and all this continued until the burnt offerings were finished. They're just, boy, there's a lot of offerings they had to do. 
my goodness, this must have went on all day, another day, and another, <laughs> quite a time. And when they had made an end and offering, the king and all that were, were present with him bowed themselves and worship. That's what we all need to do in all nations. Lord, have mercy, just like those songs we've been playing. You know, we need his mercy upon our land and all these nations. My goodness, moreover, Hezekiah, the king and the princes commanded Levi to sing the praise unto the Lord with the words of David. Yes, sir. And, and of Acer the seer. And they, they sang with gladness and they bowed their heads and worshiped. Ah. And they're getting things cleaned up, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Finally, and doing the offerings the way they're supposed to be. Well, at least we had we, we got a glorious king that wants to do things right. And we pray our ruler that's been chosen. Sounds like he wants to do the things that's right. Whether the whole nation approves or not. Or your nation's approves or not. Yes, sir. He's telling everybody to get yourselves cleaned up. You, you confess those sins before the Lord, before the priest. Right? So back then they blew it before the priest. But now we're high priests up there in heaven, sitting at the right hand. <laughs> he is our intercessor. He is our mediator. Ooh, glory. There's no other way into the Father but through his son. Ooh, let's see. I'm not going to say we can bring it on down in chapter 30, I guess. Boy, it's. Uh, and Hezekiah sent to. Uh, to all Israel and Judah and wrote letters. He's writing that and also to Ephraim. Remember him? He's his royal tribe and Manasseh. Uh, they were of Joseph and, and that they should come into the house of the Lord of Jerusalem but to keep the Passover on the Lord God of Israel. Now, but then they're going, ah, ah, well, we ain't too proud of Judah. Mm -mm. Yep, you'll see cousins turning against their own cousins because of, of what was happening within their own tribes. Right? For the king had commanded the, the, of his princes and all the congregation in Jerusalem to keep the Passover in the second month, for they could not keep it at that time because the priests had not sanctified themselves when they were supposed to do it. They, did, they didn't have none of this stuff done. And so now they're, they're trying to do it again and, and, and get straightened up so they can. And the priests had not sanctified themselves uh, sufficiently, neither had the people gathered themselves together to, to Jerusalem. Well, they, we can get all the people in there to do what we're supposed to be done. So now they finally, they're getting everything ready so maybe they can bring them in and do it at a later time. And, and, these, these, and the thing pleased the king and all the congregation. So they established a decree, excuse me, my nose wants to run, and to make proclamation throughout all of Israel from Beersheba even to Dan. That's way, way up there in the north, in the lands of Syria. Gadeen, that they should come to and keep the Passover unto the Lord God of Israel at Jerusalem, for they had not done it of a long time in such short uh, as it was written. So the post went out and the letters from the king and, and his princesses throughout all Israel and Judah and according to the commandments of the king saying, ye children of Israel turn it again unto the Lord your God. Well, that's what we're trying to say unto the people out there of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel. And, and he will return un the remnant unto you that are escaped out of the hand of the kings of Assyria. Mm -hmm. And be ye not like your fathers and like your brethren which trespassed against the Lord God of your fathers, who therefore gave them up to desolation, as you see. You see, if these nations want to keep going into the things of abomination, he will give them up. It's already been prophesied. It's already been spoken by the Lord himself and by his prophets and even by the Lord Jesus' his own apostles. The Lord Jesus told you, stuff about this. Mm -hmm. Now be ye not stiff-necked as your fathers were, but yield yourselves unto the Lord, and enter into his sanctuary, which he has sanctified forever. And serve the Lord your God, that the, the fierceness of his wrath may turn away from you. For if you turn again unto the Lord your brethren and your children shall find compassion before them. Remember the prayer of King Solomon? You see, he's going after, he, he's remembering some of this. And he's t reminding them. Oh, uh, I've, I've, and you can certainly hear that prayer of King Solomon that he prayed when he dedicated the very first temple. 
Mm -hmm. And then we got the answer to the, that the Lord gave. Oh, yeah. But then we gave you some of that in the film before. Oh, if you, if you turn again unto the Lord, your, your Lord, your brethren and your children shall find compassion before them that lead them captive so that they shall come again into this land. For the Lord your God is gracious and merciful and will not turn away his face from you if ye t return unto him. So the host passed through the city and, 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 uh, and all the way even on the Zublin. But look, it says they laughed. But they laughed. Going, what? Ah, we ain't coming down there. Oh, no. No, we ain't coming down there. We got our own way up here. Uh-huh. There's his own cousins and cousins and the cousins. They all got their own ways into the inhabitants of the lands. Got their everything they're already used to mm -hmm. and taught. Mm -hmm. And they laughed them to scorn and mocked them. Uh-oh. Their own cousins. And here Hezekiah, he, he trying to straighten things up the way that the Lord gave Moses. Mm -hmm. In which they were children of Israel. They were all, their forefathers was told this stuff too. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, uh, divers of, uh, of Asher, yeah, that's uh, the soothsayers. Uh, they, they say they hear something from the Lord. Uh -huh. And Manasseh and Azublin humbled themselves, but they're humbling themselves going, well, I don't know. This is, this is starting to go through the lands and it looks like some people starting to go along with it. So maybe we better kind of go over and see what's going on and Let's see what's going to happen. And came to Jerusalem. Also in Judah, the hand of God uh, was to give them one heart and to do the commandment of the king and of the princesses by the word of the Lord. And there assembled at Jerusalem much people to keep the feast of unleavened bread. Remember that? That's one of the royal priests. Uh, Christ was the unleavened bread, He met the first fruits. Hallelujah. But there's a feast they're trying to keep. This was one of the royal feasts that the great king was to go of Judah, finally allowed him to go into the temple and to go before the royal altar that was before the veil and the Ark of the Covenant that was behind the cherubims and all of that, the candlesticks. This was one of the royal feasts. But the king couldn't do this if he didn't have and reign over all the twelve tribes of Israel. He couldn't do it. And King Solomon was the last one to keep it. Because he did reign over all of the twelve tribes. Ah, to keep the Feast of Unleavened Bread in the second month. And uh, a very great congregation. And they, and they arose and took away the altars that were in Jerusalem. And all the altars for incense took they away and cast them into the brook of Kidron. <laughs> Here we go. They're smashing it to powder, throwing it in that, that creek. Then they killed the Passover on the 14th day, the second month, like they're supposed to. But it was on a different month. They, they missed a month, but they're trying to say, Lord, forgive us. We, 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 we couldn't get everything ready in time. And get everybody called up uh, up here. So they're, they're doing their best to try. And they, even the priests asked the Lord to forgive. Because they didn't been able to keep in the months that it was already given in the past. And the Lord clearly forgave. Ain't he a merciful God? <laughs> but he likes to see things done right in all of our lives. In all of these places. In all of these nations. But we know our history. And we know what's written even in our own Bibles. And what they're all going to do. Shoo we. Ah, and they gave all those burnt offerings before the house of the Lord. And they stood in the place after their, their manner according to the laws of Moses. Remember him? He told them and he warned them. Even Joshua. You go back and turn into the ways of, of, the, of the Gentiles. and uh, The Lord ain't going to be with you. But look at what our nations have done. Yeah, ain't this something? They brought everybody they could bring in. Down here in 18, for the most of the people, even many of Ephraim, 
and Manasseh and Iskar and Zubal and Aro and their royal tribes, Iskar and Zubal, they're of the twelve, have not cleansed themselves, yet did they eat the Passover. He's going, well, Lord, they are not all clean, and we're sorry. That, and, okay, but look at what the, what the priest is doing here, and, and the king's asking. Uh, yet they did eat the Passover, otherwise than it was written. That's what it's talking about. It wasn't supposed to back then. Yeah, yeah. But Hezekiah prayed for them, saying, that The good Lord pardon everyone. Well, we may not be doing it perfect, but Lord, we got them here. Forgive them for not doing it perfectly right. Maybe we can work on that. You see, we got ourselves a good king. And we got us a real good king from heaven up there, huh? Hello. Hello. <laughs> he going to do everything that is right. <laughs> that pertaineth to his heart. Seek going. Pardon everyone that pertaineth to his heart to seek going. The Lord God of his fathers. Though he be not cleansed according to the purification of the sanctuary. Lord, hey, uh, we forgive him. And uh, we're doing our best to get things straightened out. And straightened up. And the Lord hearkened to Hezekiah and healed the people. And the children of Israel were present through some the feast of unleavened bread seven days. You see, they're finally doing things right and doing their best to, to, to turn things around into the best ways that the Lord gave unto the people. And that's exactly what we all need to do in our own nations. And to see if we can turn any of this, and the Lord help us turn any of this around. And forgive our nation, but yet we know what the nations are going to do. The Bible records on how bad it's going to get, especially in the very end. Whew, when all this other stuff is going to come to pass. And my goodness sakes, some awesome stories right here in the books of Chronicles and the books of Kings. And it all plays a role into all of our nations and rulers all the way through these years and what they've taught and what they believed and what they've given the people and who's convincing the people in what to believe. All we can do is rely on the Lord. And all we can do is, Lord, have mercy. Come and get us. And but that'll be when he, when the Father says it is time. Go get the papal son. Go stand in those clouds. Bring him to the kingdom. Present him before the throne. Whew. Yes, sir. Lord, we wait for that day. But in the meantime, we got to do everything we can do with whatever the Lord gives us. In any way that we can. And we got to say we're sorry. And repent. And turn away from the stuff that the Lord preserved all of us out of. And forgave those things. But then are we going to go back into the things of the past. And go right back in. I think all nations. All people. All tongues. We're all guilty. Oh glory. I hope you enjoyed some of that music at the start. There's some famous singers right there I try to play. We may do this a little bit more, maybe in the next few few of them. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this all turns out. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, may you all be blessed. May you stay tuned. Amen.